Let's now solve this problem from the 2024 AMC 8. Jordan owned 15 pairs of sneakers. Three fifths of them are red and the rest are white. Two thirds are high top and the rest are low top. The red hi high top sneakers make up a fraction they're both, that are both red and high top. And we're asked to find the least possible value of it. So first of all, 15 total sneakers. Nine of them are red. And therefore, as a result, we know that six of them are white. So, but we really only care about the nine red ones. Okay, so two thirds are high top. So two thirds of 15 is 10. So 10, and I'm gonna do this for high top. So I'm gonna make them really high. 10 high top. So we've got nine red and we got 10 high top. And we're like, okay, we want to minimize the fraction of shoes that are both red and high top. So it's asking to minimize the fraction, but that's essentially the same thing as minimizing the number because the fraction is just the number that are both red and high top divided by 15. So if we want the smallest number of sneakers that are both red and are high top, what should we do? Well, there's a total of 15 pairs of sneakers. We know we're nine are red, we know 10 are high top. We wanna to minimize this overlap. So you might be wondering, huh, what if this overlap is just zero? Then we've got nine red shoes and we've got 10 high, chip, high top shoes that are completely different from those red shoes. But that's a total of at least 19 shoes. Hmm. So that won't really work, right? Because we have only 15 pairs of sneakers. So now, Essentially, we can write an inequality here, 9 plus 10 minus the overlap. This has to be equal to 15. Or rather, it does not have to be equal to 15. It has to be less than or equal to 15, right? Because we can think about this from a Venn diagram perspective. Let's imagine we got red here. Red, high top. We know that in total, there's going to be 15 total shoes. We know nine fall into this circle, and we know 10 fall into the high top circle. But if, we, if these circles, are, if there's nothing inside here, there's a total of 19 shoes. So if you want to minimize, if you want to minimize the number of overlap, basically we can write this inequality, right? Nine is the number of shoes here. 10 is the number of shoes here. And then x is the overlap here. So 9 plus 10 minus x represents the total number of shoes that are either red or high top, right? Because we subtracted x because it was overcounted twice. It was counted as part of the red shoes and counted as part of the high top shoes. So 9 plus 10 minus x. Now, this is the total number of red or high top shoes. Now, keep in mind that this does not exactly have to equal 15, right? because it's possible we have some shoes that are not red or high top, but it has to be less than or equal to 15. And it turns out that if you're really trying to minimize the number of, the number of overlap, then it turns out that it is actually best to have no shoes that are both not red and not high top. So we have this inequality here. Now we just solve it, right? 19 minus X is less than or equal to 15. So we get four is less than or equal to X. So x is at least four, and of course we're trying to minimize it, so four is the least possible number of shoes, and therefore four over 15 is the least fraction because there's 15 total pairs. I hope you enjoyed this video.